Hi guys, it's Franz. Welcome to the very first episode of Mixed Media Shorty. I'm working on a watercolor paper tag on which I'm spraying a couple of colors from the Lindy Stem Gang sprays. And once everything is dry, I'm wiping as much of the blinkies away as I can. Because I do want some blinky, but not too much. Then I place my tag inside an embossing folder and I run it through my embossing machine. If you want the complete details of all the products that I used, you will find the complete list on my blog. I'm adding some black soot distress ink on the edges, but also on all the, the erased embossed parts of the tag. So I'm not pressing very hard, I'm just slightly rubbing my blending tool all over. Spraying a little bit of water just to blend in uh, the black soot in the uh, colors that are already on my tag. And once it's more or less dry, again, I'm adding some splatters of the Lindy Stem Gang. You can really add very juicy splatters with these uh, bottles just by opening them and using uh, the tube that's inside. I'm not leaving the splatters to dry completely, I'm blotting them away so that I only have a shadow of the ink. And then again adding Distress Ink. Going in with the Prima Distressing tool, you could do the same with sanding paper. I'm uh, distressing all the erased parts on which I've added Distress Ink, so that I have a black and white contrast on top of the color. You have to do this quite carefully if you don't want to rip your tag, especially if you're working on a, a delicate watercolor paper. Stamping with archival ink all around the edges of the tag. And once that's done, I'm going back in with the distressing tool to add a wide edge as well on, around the tag. So again, you could do this with uh, sanding paper. On a piece of crinkle ribbon and a reinforcement ring, which was cut out of the same watercolor paper, I'm spraying again with the same colors um, uh, in Lindy Stem Gang's ink. And of course, I first sprayed some water on the crinkle ribbon before I sprayed out the color. And then I'm stamping um, on my reinforcement ring to add a bit of interest to it. Once my ink is really dry, I distress the edges in the same way as I did for the tag, so that everything works together. And then I can put everything in place. On a piece of craft uh, cardstock, I'm stamping my barcode stamp with embossing ink. And then I'm going over it with a Lindy Stem Gang embossing powder, which I'm using just in a regular way. So melting the powder on top of the paper. And once it's cooled down, I trim it. And then I go back over it with uh, Distress Ink and that will completely change the look of this piece. Using a baby wipe, I bring the embossing ink back to the top, but the paper is really saturated with uh, distress ink, and that gives it a very, very interesting look. And then again, I can glue that in place. That's what it. That was it for the first video in this new series. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to click like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and see you back next time. Ta-da!